Hey everybody, I am TH. I'm Jessica. We are the X experts and this is Divorce Etc. So we are going to tell you all the ins and outs of our personal experiences going through divorce together. Right. We're going to vomit not- our stories all over you, whether you like it or not. Right. <laughs> but today I have a question for Jessica because Jessica is still friends with her ex, like super close friends. And side note, he was my best friend in high school, hence our friendship. Yep. You and Darren get along so well. Yes. If he asked you to get back together with him, would you? No. Really? You wouldn't even think about it for a minute? No. I think there's been way too much history there. And I think we get along well. What if it was right after, like, okay. Right after the divorce? Like, right before your divorce was final. If he was like, Vesca, let's give it one more shot. He was fooling with someone else I know but what if he said I was I'm gonna end it he said that to me in the beginning when I told him I wanted to get a divorce no no you could never picture yourselves because I feel like he'd give you his kidney and maybe even his heart if you needed it I feel like I would give him my kidney too though I mean I think that is like the relationship that we have and kind of like the love that we have for our family but romantically no so you're not attracted to him at all? No. I think so I know too much. <laughs> right. So he's not so attractive anymore. I think I know too right. much. He's not so attractive. But I do feel like I, I'm generally surprised when I hear that people got divorced and then back together. Actually, I have a friend from high school whose parents got divorced. And then a couple of years later, they got remarried. And they're Or there are a lot of couples that are getting a divorce and got a divorce and are still hooking up. Sure. Yes. I'm, I yes. don't know any, but I'm sure I that definitely exists. know a lot, but I are like benefit friends with benefits. I think that it's more, you know, I think that there are a lot of ways that we get along, but I think that part of the reason that we get along so well is because we're not together and we don't live together and well, we don't have you, to deal with all of those set that boundary. Things. You think if you didn't set that boundary, what would happen? Set what boundary? That like we're moving on. If you kind of left it like a little vague, like no, he he was clear in the beginning. He didn't want to get divorced. So I think that if I had been open to a reconciliation or trying to work through it, I mean I don't want to say trying because I I tried. I mean I agreed to go to therapy. We went to counseling a few times. I just for me personally, moving on past the affair. I was too young and I felt like I had too much to offer to feel like the best that I deserved was a guy who was cheating on me. There you go. I think that all of us deserve better than that. And I think that if you've been through that situation, I mean, it's, it's devastating, but when your identity is all tied up in that relationship, like mine was, I mean, we were together at that point, half my life. We met when I was 18. We started dating when I was 18 and we and we split when I was 36. I can understand yearning for your family the way that it was. Right. And wanting right. The that picture of what it looked like. Right. And kind of the safety element of it is someone you've been with for years. It's someone who, you know, you you've had kids with. I just felt like I still wanted the sex part of my life. Right. And I felt like I had a lot of years left for that. And I didn't for me I I wasn't going to be comfortable being with someone who where I may have then always been wondering is he looking at someone else what else is going on trust issue of course yeah for sure for sure so for that no I can't see this is what I could see with Darren I could see if neither of us ever end up with anyone else when we're like 80 I and could on see your us, last leg. I could see us ah. living together just for the benefit of the, I could totally see of, that. The, of the convenience. Right, right. That's what I could see. But I could that never. That would be pretty funny. <laughs> oh my God, stay tuned. My kids would die, but. Um, they, your kids would be pretty freaking happy. No, I know. I mean, like they would die of excitement. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah. think my kids are walking around hoping that we get back together. I think my kids know enough about our history that I, I I think that they have fully accepted and even the fact forget that about your own together. history together your own history since like 15 past 15 years I don't think that would affect like whether been, or not my kids would think I would get back no to but but there's another side there's Darren's had other relationships and other children and other stuff so that all goes into the equation of whether they picture you two together or not don't you think 
Probably. I, I don't think it's anywhere in their minds at this point. And I feel fortunate that maybe because of their ages, that even when they were young and we were hanging out together, not hanging out in the bedroom, but like hanging out together, having family lunches on the weekends or, you know, being together at one of the kids' birthday parties or celebrating holidays together. I really, truly in my heart of hearts, don't believe that my kids ever felt misled about whether or not there I'm was not a chance. I'm not saying that, even if it's no, on no, the no, side. I'm just putting it out right. there because I think that sometimes a lot of couples struggle with they may want to be able to spend time together and have a good relationship, but but it makes the kids think that there's hope. Right. And you have to kind of balance how do you how do you do that without misleading the children? I think probably because of the fact that he was with Julie from the minute we split up and she was his, his person that I my kids never thought that there was like r- a chance room for me. Right. right. So um so but it, it, the the bigger answer is I don't see us ever being romantically involved again, but we used to joke about buying a townhouse in New York City and like I would live on two floors. Be roommates. And two that could floors be a TV show. And the kids could just go up and down back and forth. <laughs> That would yeah, be great. That would be great if he yeah. bought the, if he bought the house. Of course. <laughs> and paid all the maintenance. My kids could never picture me with their dad. Do they are do they like the time when you guys are together for no. a graduation or no. a birthday? No. no. They don't even want that. Because they know everybody's uncomfortable. Right. I have a business relationship with my ex. We don't have a friendship. We don't break bread unless it's a graduation or a big event. And we had two of them last year. We had a lot of together time. He's married. He has a child. And it's just, I like, I'd rather have my kids myself and like have our alone time. Right. Because in my mind, that like takes away time from me. You know what I mean? So, um, but they know us both now as young adults themselves. And they're like, this is never going to work. I, I don't even know how you guys were ever even married in the first place. You're so different. Right. There's like different everything, perspectives on everything. Right. I would, it would literally be a blue sky and be like, nah, I see a cloud. Like right. that's, that's, that was my right. life. That was my relationship with him. So not a shot in hell, but let us know because there are a lot of people that go back to their exes. There's codependency, there's trauma bonds. There's like, a, there's a lot of stuff. And all that stuff does is keep you stuck. Right. And we have moved on. And it's not always easy to move on, right? Like, no. you want to date. I want to date. Like, no one's around. Dating apps suck. They're annoying. All of it's a pain in but the ass. But don't fall back to your ex just out For convenience. of the loneliness No, do not. Like, if you feel like you guys have really been able to break through and, and work things out, more likely in circumstances where one person wasn't necessarily cheating. Cause I think that that's such a deep breach of trust, but different people People, forgive. I know. I know. People stay married, even though there's cheating with other implications involved. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And there's no judgment here, by the way, you have to do what's good for you. Exactly. Exactly. That was not good for for either of us. Correct. Um, And my ex-husband was engaged. So (laughs) there's that too. Um, Two engagement rings, actually. The first one, when she found out that he was still married, she returned and kept the money. And then the second one was way bigger. And then she decided, I'll get over it. And let's different live happily ever after. Different folks. So whatever, whatever works for you. But let but, us know the stories about how you think that you, whether or not you think you could ever see you and your ex together again in any capacity, even the 80 year old living together out of convenience, or if like you feel like your kids somehow think that there's still hope or would your kids even want you guys to be back together? Yeah. Yeah. That's and then question. on another, on another show, we're going to talk about like dating exes. She's like a collector of dating exes. Oh, I thought you meant dating my ex-husband. No, no, no. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, I do. I do collect the men that I yeah, date. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll get into that later. <laughs> so thank you everybody. And we'll see you on the next episode of Divorce Etc.